<laughs> We're live. <laughs> hello. What's up, everyone? <laughs> hello, hello. I already see emojis waving it. <laughs> My favorite. How you doing, new Purple Sparkles, Lisa Corey, and QT Mama? What's up? Oh, I got the computer sound on today. Turn that off. There we, we are go. rookies. <laughs> we are rookies at this. We don't go live all the time. What's up, Christine? <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. How is everybody on the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> emojis with hearts in the eyes. How you doing, Tammy? What's up, Judy? I'm waiting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're going to be talking about uh winter trends and what you can expect for winter obviously the snow is going to start falling soon around here and in great majority of the country it's going to be cold you know um, like winter trends can also be fall trends they can be fall trends too but but we're talking more about the, the overweight stuff the heavy jackets yeah. the sweaters um some fall trends that are going to be in there as well but um mostly everything everything tonight can be worn comfortably in the winter and it'll keep you nice and warm and all that good stuff. So what's up, Michelle, Lachey, Caitlin, Karen, Patty, Angel, Kimberly, Julie? How you guys doing? Welcome Cutie to mom. the show. So before we get started, don't forget, we do have our course, Poshing for Profits, on sale this week until Tuesday. 50% off. Get you the course. Uh, you can get in for as little as $23.50 tonight. Just click the first link in the description. It's a comprehensive guide on how to Poshmark full-time, uh, how to Poshmark for a full-time living, working part-time hours. We included a free uh, access to our Facebook group, which is a great resource for you guys. You can get in there and talk to us and ask us questions and all that good stuff. And Steve Rakin is also throwing in a ton of bonuses. If you pick the course up, you're going to get 101 killer men's grands, 101 killer women's shoes, and the Blazing Profit System is going to teach you guys how to source for women's shoes and men's clothing like a pro. And uh, you'll be able to sell all that good stuff on Poshmark and eBay and all those places for profit. So <laughs> Christine says definitely no. check that out. I'm not ready for the S word. Who is? Snow. That S word. <laughs> oh, check. and from Florida. So maybe, you know, Florida. So check that out. First link <laughs> in the description gets you into that course. You can get in for as little as $23.50 tonight. All right. So with that being said, we'll jump right into our topic at hand. Winner. 2018 and 2019, what to expect, what to look for, what to source for, what to go out and find. Keep your eyes open, boys. So why don't you start it off, Karen? Okay, um, graphic sweatshirts. Um, these can have words on it, prints on it. This is also good. Um, it's kind of relevant to when we were talking about boutiques and, like, stocking, you know, <laughs> stuff in your closet. If you're trying to go more wholesale, you can find these through wholesale distributors. You know, they don't have to be name brands. It's yep. not like – I'm not just talking about, like, a spell-out sweatshirt. I'm talking, like, any funky print. You know, like, I got stuff on my shirt, so, like, that, but a sweatshirt. Ah, who doesn't want a comfy, cozy sweatshirt in the wintertime that says something? It could be a print, too. Yeah. Yeah. Funky graphic sweatshirts. They're coming back in. They were yes. in a while ago. And a lot of these trends are coming back around full circle. Um, we'll start with <laughs> one from the guys list. And guys for uh, the winter trend. And this is fall trend too. But Western wear, anything, pearl snaps, plaids, um, button-ups like with the pearl snaps on it. I already mentioned that. Um, What's that, like the little funky Western cut? They do a weird Yeah, you know those two-tone <laughs> deals where they have the little – um. Tan, tan, two tone at the top, and it's kind of got that W shape and all that, and then the rest is plaid. That kind of stuff is in. Um, so anything that looks like it's going to be Western wear is definitely coming in on trend right now. Caitlin said, "I just sold one today. It said take naps, not drugs." <laughs> 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 See, someone that that shirt really spoke to them, and they were like, "I need to wear this on my chest." <laughs> Say it loud, say it proud. Lori, we're excited to see you too. <laughs> Summer's got her day job going on right now. That's a pain in the butt, I know. Uh, but she's here. James, what's up? And Rob, Roberta, hello. And Caitlin, how you doing? Caitlin just sold that sweatshirt today. That's, that's awesome. All, yeah, that's, see? She didn't even know when she yeah. still sold it. That's great. Good stuff. But yeah, it could also be at a store, you know, if you're just out in sourcing regular, if you're at a thrift store and you see like a sweatshirt that says something cool on it and it's like yeah. a couple bucks, a buck or two, snag it up, you know, like they're going to go. They're pretty quick. Um, another um, trend that kind of circles back every couple of years is tart and plaid. But for women, they're really going like more like the schoolgirl style this winter, um, like the red plaid schoolgirl skirt. Um, it's all plaid is in, but red especially. 
Um, yeah, I think schoolgirl skirts, but with layers. You know, I got to layer it up yep. when the S word comes in. <laughs> <laughs> but those are, th that's very 90s. That was like, a, reminds me of high school. <laughs> so, Karen, why don't you tell Kathy how to bundle to a buyer? Wait, wait, where is it? I need help figuring out how to bundle. Okay, go to their closet. And at the top of their closet, you're going to see like a little box, like an opened up box. Click on that. That's their bundle. And then you can share directly from them. You need to switch to sell view first. Sell. So you have to click the three dots once you get into that section. Switch to sell view. In the top right corner. In the top right corner. And then you're going to see a list of, obviously, it's going to be your closet. Mm -hmm. You pick what you want to add to that bundle. You're going to click the share button. And then um, you'll see, you'll, you'll see the their faces. face. Yeah. So like, you look for their face and you click on their face and share it right to their bundle. It's pretty simple. There's the a lot of steps way you to would, it. But... Um, share to a party yeah. or your followers. Instead of sending followers or party, underneath those two options, if there's a party going on, you'll see the last, I believe, 10, maybe 15 people that you've interacted with on the app. Since you just opened up their bundle, they're going to be the very first little, yep. little, you know, their logo. It's usually a, a selfie. Yeah. Mom's a flamingo. <laughs> you know, but yeah, they're a little. So just remember what their face looks like. <laughs> That's right. That's It's uh, very simple. Yeah. It's just There's a lot of steps to it, but it's pretty simple. The to more do. you do it, the the easier, you know, you're just yep. going to be bam, 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 bam. And the first couple of times doing anything, you're a little slower yeah. at it, but you'll get used to it. Don't you worry, Kathy. <laughs> so next on the list for men's trends is 90s styles. 90s what styles are coming mean? back. You know, like plaids and, and uh, flannels and oversized ski sweaters, stuff like that. Those sweaters with all the snowflakes and zigzags and different colors. And I think I have one behind me. I know. I just went looking. <laughs> I found this really like this. It's a Woolrich. Yeah. This awesome Woolrich sweater that I'm like, if it wasn't actually wool, I would take it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I like that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be in style. You know me. I like yeah. those kind of, like, Cosby sweater type look type thing. Anything you can layer, too. Think layering. Layering was big in the 90s. It's coming back. All the, all the Everything is all about layering. I mean, layering a plaid shirt with a sweater and a thermal underneath and all that good stuff gives you those extra layers. And that is back in spades. If you're a little too young to remember that, um, Go onto the YouTube and go look at my so-called life TV show. Watch a couple episodes. And you go, <laughs> I want to just find all the stuff these people are wearing. So <laughs> that should help. <laughs> uh, bo both Lachey will sell equally good. It doesn't matter if it's pre-owned or new with tags. If somebody likes it, they're going to buy it. Um, new with tags is – you're going to get more for new with tags, but it's uh, it's not going to prevent you from making a sale around the holidays. They both sell equally, equally well. Especially if it's something that's – hard to acquire or out of circulation. You know, it was made a couple of years ago and someone's like, oh, that was my favorite sweater. I really wanted it. You're gonna, they're gonna understand it's not gonna be new at tags anymore. You know? Robin, we'll check our email. Uh, we were busy today, so we'll check our email when we get off the show. We uh, had a, were running around with my little nephew all day. We took him to Chuck E. Cheese and everything. So we had a busy day. We didn't really get a shot to check up on the emails, but I will check that as soon as we're done with the show and we'll get back to you. Like that little kid. And if you want to put your question here, if it's personal, I understand. <laughs> if you want to throw your question in the comments, I'll answer it right away. If not, we'll get you an email. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We won that kid so many t tickets at that Chuck E. Cheese. Auntie was on the case. I was like, I'm going to get you tickets, kid. <laughs> All right. So Wait. Oh. Got a question coming in. So, awesome. I love watching you guys with Steve Rakin. And quick question. What's your best advice to someone just starting on Posh? I'm already on eBay but looking to do extra platform Cross post everything you possibly can at Poshmark. Get your listings up as fast as possible. You want to hit that 150 to 200 range. Start following people right off the bat. Follow as many closets as you can. You're going to get a lot of followers back from that. And don't forget to share your items at least four times a day. If you're full time, um, if you're part time, definitely do the full uh, the sharing at least twice a day on the seven o'clock and ten o'clock time frame from the East Coast. Um, the parties. Those are the two main parties that you want to be sharing the most to. The last two and. Um, and uh, that's, that yeah. should get you started, yeah. You already have inventory. It's already on eBay. Now, you can't sell hard goods. You have to own clothing. Only clothing, yeah. Yeah. So any clothing or accessories, anything you put on your body that you already have on eBay, think about it. You already got your pictures. <laughs> you already have a description. So, you know, you can easily copy and paste. That's one of the that, – that happens a lot when people are like, oh, I want to cross post. And they don't – you know, they, they're very comfortable with one platform. You're probably really comfortable with eBay right now. And then you go to Poshmark, it's a little different, and you might be slower making the listings. Get those listings up there. The more listings you have up there, you're going to be selling. So that's the best advice we can give you right away, Holly, for new to Poshmark advice. Go ahead, Karen, with the trends. Oh, yes. Um, this has been happening since the fall. 
but neon accessories. Now that it's going from fall to winter, we're thinking like neon scarves, neon beanie caps or hats that look a little butt out the back. Um, they're not saying you go like head to toe, like bright as the sun, neon yellow, you know, but when you think of winter, you think of very bland colors. You think of like neutrals, blacks. You, you don't think of like, ooh, pop of color. <laughs> so neon accessories to kind of bring your more drab winter wardrobe, fresh color. I like the beanies. Beanies, just beanies, don't look good beanies on are me. actually really big right now. Beanies <laughs> yes. are big on uh, both men and women. Mm -hmm. That's something I don't have on the list, but it's definitely out there. Beanies are good to find. Um, my next item on the men's trends is going to be leather, but not leather, not all leather. Um, in specific, the heavier overcoat type leather, the longer coats, the almost trench coats, but not quite those three quarter length um, top coats and stuff like that. And leather are very hot if you can find them. And uh, there's a lot of thrift, a lot of thrift stores have a leather section. And for some reason, people just don't buy the leather at thrift stores. I notice a lot of leather at um, thrift stores that I go to and people just overlook it or don't source for it or don't buy it. Um, I don't know why but it's a great thing to get into right now and you should be able to find some of these styles in your thrifts <coughs> excuse me with the leather um in mind like the longer trench coat type stuff and the again it's all about layering so it's it's the big 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 top coat layer one thing you have to look out for with leather is if you're listing a like a leather like trench coat like a long coat weigh it because poshmark gives you five yep. pounds but leather gets heavy it does you had that motorcycle jacket and it was like Point one away from that five pound mark and I like waited like five times and like be consistent be consistent and it just made it but that was a shorter jacket too you know it was like a motorcycle jacket yeah so weigh it if you're ever in doubt just make sure you don't have to charge extra shipping or it might come and bite you in the a but <laughs> also the a word <laughs> sorry YouTube <laughs> so yeah way 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 oh more emojis oh I think that's a clover hello what's up Patriot Picker yes <laughs> awesome Summer got some photographs done today with her models. That's good stuff. Some outerwear. A full is good for that. You got like the foliage yeah. and the trees turning all pretty colors. And, and you're welcome for the advice, it. Holly. How do you ship something that's over five pounds? You're going to have to get an upgraded shipping label. First, you have to contact the buyer before you send it. So you really got to know your weight. If it's if you think it's going to be over five pounds, you got to weigh it and know the exact weight. Then you contact your buyer after you know the exact. Actually, first you get the shipping label prices. So you're going to look into the upgraded shipping labels mm -hmm. and they can find that where. Um, I believe it's also on Poshmark's blog, but you know, if someone keeps it adds like five things to a bundle, you can now communicate within that bundle and say, listen, if this goes over five pounds, I have to accommodate for extra shipping, you know, and I believe it's like six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, like something like that. Like it goes up a dollar or two each pound increment. Um, but the problem is it comes out of your pocket. So, so you gotta charge them first. But you how do you how do you actually find the upgraded shipping label in the Poshmark once app? Once the order is placed, you go into prop like inquiries, like problems inquiries, and it brings you to a new menu and then it says shipping inquiries or shipping problems, and then it gives you another list and it says upgrade shipping label. I think six pounds is like uh seven dollars, seven pounds is like some somewhere around eight or nine dollars additional shipping charge, and it goes up from there. So um and uh, you see, there's uh, Christine Orozco says you can find it on Posh. Most is $19.99 for the extra 10 pounds. You so can even it can get pricey. Um, yeah. A sale that you have active now and look, you know, anything that's like you go to my sales, even if you shipped it out, you can still go to problem inquiries and like take a screenshot of it, like the, the price differences, you know, um, just so you have it. Um, but even. It, not just leather or heavy things like that, but like boots. It's winter time. Things get heavy. They do. It's not like shipping a little tiny tank top or five of them, <laughs> you know. So just be conscious of when things. <laughs> people get like money blind and like, oh, five items in this bundle, ching ching, you know. And then they weigh it. They're like, oopsie. <laughs> yeah. So be conscious of that. Uh, Roberta, um, we don't sell a lot of silk stuff, so I really would not know the first thing about how to get a stain out of a silk pair of pants. I know it's got to be very complicated. You're probably going to want to take it to a professional, a dry cleaner or something like that. And you're going to have to pay for it because silk is tricky. You get it wet, it gets ruined. You get it, get anything on it that you're not supposed to have on it and it will get ruined. So be very careful with that. I would suggest taking it to your dry cleaners and seeing if they can get the stain out. 
um, and hopefully they can get it out for you. It's amazing that it's such like a precious, you know, an expensive yeah. fabric when it's so delicate like that. Who goes next? Me? Yep. You? You. Okay. Next one is wearing tall boots, you know, like knee high boots or like shin high boots with long skirts and or long dresses. So you're wearing like a long maxi skirt and you have long boots. So <laughs> as you kick, you kind of see the boot go up. Long with long, it's in. You don't have to wear little booties with those long dresses anymore. Or really fancy shoes. Yeah. Tall boots, long skirts, dresses. Simple, right? Not for the men. <laughs> no, not for the men. Well, <laughs> boots are on trend for the men, but not that type of boots. We'll jump into boots right now. So um, the hiking boots and the um, Chelsea boots, stuff like that, the uh, ankle high, not all the way up to your obviously knees or calves or anything like that, but the ankle high boots and – um. Again, brown is a hot color this year. That's another trend that's on right now. So brown boots are going to be in trend. You got a few over there? Oh, yeah, those ones. Yep, brown boots are on trend. This is a – that's a one I just picked up right there. <laughs> they like, are um, – Men don't do like – Yeah, we don't do tall, know? tall boots. So, Usually um, like the ankle. Yeah, ankle high, yeah. that kind of boot. So think like a hiking boot but more trendy, more stylish. So look for those type of boots out there. That style will sell um, for good money. Oh, yeah, this is boots, boots, boots. Um, the next thing is something I've been seeing a lot on Instagram because they do that. I watch these bloggers and, like, I love fashion people. are, like, oversized chunky sweaters, which have been in the past couple of years. But the difference is it's not just a chunky sweater. The back is kind of twisted. It's like the fabric was, like, it almost looks like a bow. And it's, like, around the top. Like, it, it's twisted and then, like, sewn into the... It, it almost looks like it was a defect, but then it's like, no, it was made that way. So, like, twisted back sweaters that kind of look like a bow. Beautifully destroyed. You can throw your question in the comments and we'll get to it. <laughs> that's an easy one, huh? Twisted back sweaters. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah. That's also good to keep your eye open if you are going getting into the boutiques as well. Because I know I have seen that in wholesale as well on um, a lot of the wholesale websites you know not not like everywhere it's not like saturated yeah but you know if you're you're definitely looking to stock more boutique stuff twisted back sweaters it might have a better name than what i'm giving it <laughs> <laughs> but that's like what my brain tells me it is it might have something like way prettier you know twisted back <laughs> you can you use the flat rate if you have a heavy bundle you can, but it's like you're you're not paying flat rate. You can use any any box, yeah. any box that's not blue. So you can use regular priority mail or flat rate um, priority mail. But it's not like when you're actually paying. Yeah, you're not actually paying for the flat rate. rate right? Yeah, you're, you're paying, paying. You're still paying for the shipping mm -hmm. label on Poshmark. So even if you use a flat rate, you still have to use their labels to ship it out, and um, you're still gonna have to charge for the additional shipping. Yeah. Um, if you guys are new here and you just turned it in tonight or you've been here for a while, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and give us a like if you enjoy this content. If you're new, definitely hit that subscribe button and check on that bell to be notified when we go live and when we have new shows and new videos up. And also, um, perfect time to mention our course is 50% off right now. It's uh, Poshing for Profits. You can get in for as little as $23.50 tonight on the payment plan. It's a comprehensive guide on how to do uh, Poshmark and make a full-time living working part-time hours. We cover everything in the app from downloading the app all the way to uh, wholesale and boutiques and everything in between. So it's a great way to get your feet wet with Poshmark. If you're not quite sure what you're doing or need a little help, it's the perfect course for you. It comes with a free Facebook group that you get access to only as a member of Poshing for Profits. We're in there answering questions and we will always be in there to make comments and answer questions and all that good stuff. Steve Rakin's also given out a bunch of bonuses, 101 killer clothing, for men, 101 killer women's shoe brands, and the Blazing Profit System. You get that all for free. All you got to do is email his re your receipt to Steve Rakin at rakinprofit at gmail.com, and he'll give you those bonuses. They are tremendous bonuses. I've read them all. I've used them all. I've learned a lot from his his uh, guides, and they're incredible. So um, definitely think about picking that course up. If you haven't done so already, just click the first link in the description, and it'll take you right over to the sales page. No coupon needed. Rusty says, Rusty and Luanda say, learning a lot from your course. Thank you. Glad to hear it. On washing clothes, do you only launder an item if it really needs it? Do you launder all your used clothing? So I don't launder all of the clothing we get. I do go over it very, I inspect the crud out of it. I inspect it with my nose. I inspect it with my eyes. Sometimes you could tell like the jeans have been worn. They have like, you know, the behind the knee, you know, and the, okay, these need to get laundered. 
sometimes and people don't go into their hamper and pull yep. dirty stuff out of their hamper and they're like go to the goodwill sometimes they do but most of the time it's going to be clean so yeah. or sometimes it'll get musty because yeah so it's been and been use or, your best discretion when wash it when needing to wash clothes and you'll have that's the best guy to thumb if it smells bad mm -hmm. wash it if it's doesn't smell that bad or if it feels clean then or you're good to go or something like that so maria yeah. uh, Alton says, is there a way to communicate with a user that likes several items from your closet and offer them a bundle? Yeah, you can actually go into their closet and create a bundle for them. Click on their face, click on that box on the top right corner. Um, it looks like a little open package. And then um, switch to sell view with the three dots on the top right hand corner there as well. And then you can share whatever they liked to their bundle. You'll see their likes at the bottom of that page. You just share it like you usually would click on their face and they'll go right to their bundle you can also communicate with them through that bundle feature you can write them a comment you can talk to them you can uh, negotiate a price you can do whatever you want in those comments so uh, the bundle is key there so to learn how to make that bundle it's very simple um and uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. Yeah uh, Kimberly I will let Steve know he, it, it might be because it's the weekend um, I will Pass this message. They're coming. They're message. coming. He's got um he's got his employees working on processing all those bonuses. We did get an influx of sales, so it's gonna take some time to get caught up. If you don't get it, get those bonuses in another week or so, then then get get in touch with us definitely at the thrifty flamingo at gmail and we will move uh get on top of Steve and make sure you get the bonuses. But um they should come, so just have a little patience with that. I know it's gonna take a little time a little longer than usual to get them out there because of the volume we've been selling right lately. So, so Holly Dixon says chocolate brown is my favorite. For fall, yeah, this goes into your. I already next. mentioned brown. Oh, brown and carrot. Um, I, yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> I already mentioned brown. Um, the next item on the list for men's trends is Sherling jackets. They're like Sherpa jackets. They have that big um, uh, sheepskin kind of fuzz around them, and they are made out of leather and um. They're kind of a mix between suede and leather. They have alternating colors. They're really cool looking, um, and they are hot right now. So if you can find those, definitely buy them. Ugly, ugly Christmas sweaters are great to resell, especially around this time. You only have a small window, so list them now if you have mm -hmm. them. But they will sell very fast and very frequently. I've never had one left over. You know, I know they're <sighs> Connecticut – bunch of hipsters go looking for these things you know they have been for years so whenever i see one and they're never expensive because there's not like a name brand it's always like you're like grandma knitted it in the 80s you know and it's like two bucks i always grab them i never had one left over i've sold ugly christmas vests who wears vests? <laughs> so um yeah summer uh, to address that right the thrift stores don't launder their clothing but people who bring their clothing in is it, the clothing's already going to be laundered and most of the time they're not pulling like karen said they're not pulling stuff out of their hamper and donating they're pulling stuff out of their closet that they haven't worn in a year and donating it so that's why we don't worry so much about washing the clothes because most of the time they've already been washed by the person that donated them um but then sometimes the person that donated them smokes cigarettes or cigars and that stuff you know I could smell it a mile away, and so can other people. Um, you, even if you are a smoker, and you might not be so adept to smelling it because you, you do it yourself, yep. um, other people do smell that. So wash, wash, wash. Yeah, I just got a shirt in the mail from eBay today that <laughs> came from a smoking household, and it stinks like smoke. So um, definitely check your clothing for smoke and uh, do that. So Beautifully Destroyed has her question is, uh, my sales are slow on Poshmark, but I remember you all saying you cross post the eBay, although I'm having trouble, I guess, setting up an account and the payment method. Any advice? So um, setting up an eBay account is pretty simple. Um, we uh, I, I, we did a long time ago, so I don't remember exactly yeah. how to go starting on that. Um, but um, as, as far as payment methods go, I think they're still using PayPal. They're going to be switching over to Aiden eventually, which is going to be eBay's own payment processor. So you should have a PayPal account if you don't already, so you can get one of those for free. So look into PayPal. Um, there's a ton of eBay videos on YouTube. Just search for how to set up an eBay store or eBay. You don't probably want to start out with a store. Just no, set, how to set either. up an eBay account. And you'll find a ton of videos on that, and they will um, – guide you in the right direction i'm sorry i can't point out that tonight um it's been quite some time since we've set up a store ebay also has forums you know you can yeah. even just google it and they'll give like a list by list walkthrough click on this create account choose this choose that do you want individual or do you want a store and they you know um, ebay has a lot of um walkthroughs like that so next one oh. was, hmm? uh the course is 97 dollars oh. if you buy it as a um at 50% off, you can get in, into it for the payment plan at twenty three fifty, 
and um, you'll pay that for six months at six payments at twenty three fifty. Um, lowest option to get into the course is that. But uh, if you want to buy this one time payment of ninety seven dollars, we also have a master class available, and that with the fifty percent off would be two forty eight. You get all the bonuses, everything included in the course, plus a closet consultation and a coaching call from us. So it's a valuable. Um, option if you guys want to get in touch with us personally and work with us for an hour or so on how to complete your um how to how to <laughs> how, to, how to succeed at Unposhmark. I was saying the wrong thing. Yes, we do closet consultations. There's an option when you buy the course to add that on. Um, if you don't have that, uh, if you don't want to pick up the course but want a closet consultation, email us at the thrifty flamingo at gmail.com. We'll work with you. We take payments through PayPal. So all you got to do is we'll, we'll give you the price. If you want the consultation, you can PayPal us the money and we'll do the consultation. It's a video consultation. Karen goes through your closet. She points out the good, the bad, and the ugly and um, gives you about a... 15 to a half hour video of uh, improvements 15, and everything like that. So um, it's really a really a good consultation. She does very well with them. So I've done them live too. I've done them for yeah. Poshmark live um, at their event, two events. So um, yeah. Michelle, um, Karen did take a bunch of notes, but when they did the hackathon, they did oh not God. ask for suggestions. They just unrolled all their new features. It was basically, that was it. So we didn't have a chance to actually put all those suggestions into play. We did talk to Manish about a few of them and he's going to implement them in um, the future if he can. But um, as far as any options to give them the, the tips, there wasn't that option this year. So um, but they didn't make it look that way. Then when they released the agenda, they were like, this is the agenda. Yeah. And there was like two spaces where I was like, oh my goodness, they're going to like talk to us. And it wasn't there when we got there. <laughs> and I was kind of like, I was looking forward to that. I was like, go right at it. Um, so yeah. Um, and we didn't miss it. It wasn't on like. Just wasn't weird. an option this year. Yeah, they just didn't do it. Like, why did you tell us? Like, <laughs> you tricked us. All right. So, um, next one. Um, I have been seeing a lot. Um, especially like, I saw one from Calvin Klein. Dresses that resemble trench coats. It's like a long, like you know, I was saying like tall boots, long skirts, or dresses. Like a long dress that looks like it buttons all the way up with a trench coat, but the belt is higher up and it's fitted like a dress. So yeah, I saw one like from Calvin Klein. Um, they come in different colors. Um, yeah, department stores and stuff. Like, yeah. Designers that aren't like you got to pay thousands of dollars to wear. Um, personally, not my kind of thing. You wouldn't catch me in a trench coat dress, but I know it. You know, it's kind of classy looking if that's your thing. You know, pair with some tall boots. Yeah. <laughs> and you're double on trend. <laughs> So we talked about brown, um, but another great style men's trend right now are going to be the lighter color browns, like the camel hair and those type of colors. Those overcoats are great. I actually have one myself from Burberry, and it's a phenomenal coat. It's a camel hair coat with the Burberry Nova check on the inside. But just think stuff like that. Top coats, um, not quite. Pea coats are kind of not quite in right now. They're on the cusp of going out. But the top coats and the overcoats and the longer coats, like the three-quarter length and longer coats are coming back in and making mm -hmm. a comeback. So um, – if you can find those in camel hair, you're you hit a home run. You should be able to make a ton of money. Like the coats that go down to like mid thigh, right? Like the longer, but not like floor length yeah. coats. Like yeah, like that. I'm not a guy, but I, I have eyes and I can see it. Yes, beautifully destroyed. <laughs> if you get in tonight with the payment plan, you pay twenty three fifty. Oh, I see so many emojis. <laughs> yes. So where are you at? You got one more left. Huh? Uh huh. And you have two, I so we're two, good. So good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like. Or we both go to read at the same no, time. No, I got caught up on those. We're good. Oh, so okay. far. Keep, keep your questions coming, though. We will answer your questions as soon as we're done with the trends, or I will stop and answer those questions if I see something that comes in. So if you have a question, throw it in the comments. We'll definitely get to all the questions before we end tonight. We're not going for a full hour, but we're going to go a little longer, get your questions done, um, and and um, answer some of your questions after we're done with the trends. So. I got a question. Any tips on how to look up style numbers? So it depends oh, on the brand. It really that one? does. The oh, yeah, I did brand. miss that one. Sorry about that. Um, for instance, Torrid, very simple to look up. They say like item number or whatever. You can even go to their website and type that in the search bar. Even if it's like a five-year-old Torrid, whatever, it's still going to pop yeah. up as being sold out. Um, you know, anthropology is hard because they just have an RN number. Now, an RN number, 
is not a style number. It, it really depends on the brand. No, that's like an actual, that, that number gives you like an anthropology. It'll tell you that it's anthropology, but it doesn't tell you the style or the no, brand or anything exactly. like that. And there's like 30, we have a video on anthropology brands. There's like 30 different named brands under the anthropology uh, umbrella. So you really got to know your anthropology to know what you're doing. Check that video out. It's on YouTube. It, on it was a live video. We went through a ton of anthropology brands. If you guys are interested in anthropology, so <laughs> he learned so much about anthropology. Um, but yeah, you know, some brands make it very simple. And I know a lot of people get caught up on the RN number and they see like the RNCN number and they're like, oh, all I have to do is pop this into Google. And no, all that does is tell you what manufacturer, like what plant it came from. And, and it could be like multiple brands. It doesn't, yeah. It's not gonna pop up an image, you know, unless somebody had included it in like an eBay listing or something like that. But there's some brands that are searchable and make a style number. And there's some that you just gotta go on keywords and Google them and search. So Kate, yes, our course is ongoing and will be updated. We're actually in the process of shooting after this week about 15 to 20 new videos that we're going to add to the course by the end of December. So keep an eye out for that, but we will always be updating it and we're going to work on that throughout the month of November to bring you guys some great content where I know um, I, there's a great, a bunch of stuff we're going to add a lot of new changes to Poshmark that we're going to add into the course and that is coming in. So um, keep Back an eye out for bundle. that. Uh, so go in depth with that Kim, bundle. Kimberly Robinson says, I heard you say there was an easier way to share. If you are sharing the item with your followers and a party, I go back and forth easier way. Oh, um, I think maybe she heard me say we got a mouse. Um, it, it's quicker to share. Now, this is my personal opinion, and I've heard this from multiple people, um, to share on a computer. Click, 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 yeah. click, click, click. Like on a and we have a laptop with a touchpad, so until we got a mouse, it wasn't easier. It was slower. Um, but um, people that share from a tablet or a cell phone, yeah, if you get like your Poshmark.com and you can just hit the share, 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 click, 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 click. It's very easy that way. Yeah. So that's the best way to do it. So how do you know if you have a repeat buyer? Is there any type of notification or just your own track? Just your own tracking. That's mm -hmm. it. You need to stay on top of that and recognize names. If you, know you see I somebody do? come in, what do you do? I never, my entire email that's just dedicated to Poshmark, I never, ever delete a shipping label. I delete everything else as I go up, anything that's new on red. Um, I leave the shipping label there. And then it has the buyer's um, um, address, their um, Poshmark closet name. So I just go search email at whatever. And if no other shipping label pops up, it takes me, what, four seconds to type a Poshmark closet yeah. name. Nothing else pops up or populates. I know they're a brand new user. Sometimes I, I'm like, oh my goodness, this person so bought from That's like a really, times. really easy way to track your um, repeat buyers if I you do what Karen says. On. Piece of cake. Uh, jeans <laughs> are selling great, Lachey. Um, I just had a four jean bundle the other day and I've been selling jeans uh, very consistently for the past month or so. So if your jeans aren't selling, target follow, do all the usual stuff, get them to sell. Uh, any way you can. If you have likes, send out offer to likers, all that good stuff, and your jeans will start selling again. Yeah. You guys liking this? Are we learning what's some trendy in the winter time? If you are, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. The other day, you were talking about your page jeans puckering. I pulled a pair that I purchased because it has that. Do you recommend not relisting them even with that notification? Well, so I have sold them with the puckering. I have. I, I zoom in on it. I show uh, far away, like there it is, there it is up close. You know, if it's really bad, like a completely across the thighs or something like that, you might just consider it a loss and write it, you know, write it off in your like, yeah. like, like it's a loss. Uh, if it's just like a small little area, they do sell still. They do not sell for as much money as good page jeans, like non blemished. Um, I have no idea, but that brand just it yeah. fuckers. So yeah. um, beautiful, beautifully destroyed. Um, we have not. I don't know. Actually, I haven't. Carmen heard of Carmen Mark Valvo. Have you? Show it to me. Carmen Mark Valvo. No. No, we haven't heard of that brand or, or uh, designer. So sorry about that. Uh, no brands are prohibited to sell on Poshmark as long as their clothing. Prohibited items are not are hard goods. Um, makeup that's been used, um, perfumes you can't sell, uh, anything liquid, anything liquid, uh, any games or toys or any DVDs, anything like that you can't sell. But there are no brands that are prohibited to sell. Anthropology, oh, all, yes. all anthropology will be sold, shared to the party, right? So 
this is what you have to do. You can label it. Oh, you have to it. label it anthropology, right? You yeah. have to have it labeled anthropology. That's right. So if, if it's a moth sweater sold exclusively by anthropology, but you have it labeled as moth, not anthropology, it, it's not going to share to the party. Um, I will label all my anthropology anthropology, and in the title I put moth. You know, sweater by anthro or anthro. Yeah. Mom, so you know, as um, long as it has anthropology in the title, that's right. Yes. Was, um, but it has to be like when you're filling out your description, like brand has to say anthropology. So, Rusty, to open a second account, you need to get a new email address and email Poshmark and let them know that you want to open a second account, a second closet for whatever reason. They'll approve it within a few days and uh, you'll be able to do that. I, don't, I haven't heard of anyone having a problem getting a second closet. So um, just email them with a new email address and let them know you're looking to open a new closet and they'll get back to you and let you do that. I know somebody who wants three. She has her own personal closet. She has a boutique and she has a kid. Yeah, we have two. She may, but one person, she manages all three classes. We're probably going to go to three once our ki our baby is born and starts <laughs> outgrowing the clothing that we get. So we're going to end up with three closets eventually for kids' clothes. Next on the men's check trend list, and this is kind of already covered a little bit, but it's checkered shirts or plaid shirts. We already covered plaid, but checkered is um, checkered Actual is little big. boxes. The little like yeah, hound's tooth or uh, or uh, yeah, hound's tooth. Think hound's tooth like that. Um. Okay. I don't think I have a, no. I do have a little check shirt back there, but but they know you know check shirts. Uh, they're very easy to identify. So um, that's hot and on trend. Are you done with your list? No, no. Um, but um, my next one's gonna be similar to yours. But someone you were talking about denim not selling. So one of the trends that I know has been carrying over from early fall. You guys might know that now um, colored denim is in. So. I have been picking anytime I see like a forest green or a blue or like not blue jean, but like a dyed denim. That's still it. And I, I believe that's going to keep carrying out because they I can't keep them in my closet. I don't find them that often as I find regular blue jean denim. But I any brand, <laughs> you know, I've sold like green ones and blue ones. So colored denim is also I, I, I'm going to predict it's going to carry on into the winter. <laughs> But my last one, besides the colored denim, denim, is boyfriend flannel plaid shirts. The kind that you can wear with a graphic sweatshirt underneath or a t-shirt underneath. The kind that aren't so fitted like a woman's shirt. Again, kind of back to 90s style. You know, 90s, my so-called lifestyle. They call them boyfriend shirts, even though they're fitted for women and they have the buttons on the correct side for a woman. They're designed as if you just took your boyfriend's flannel shirt off the floor. And you're like, it's mine now. <laughs> I own a few. Kind of never grew out of that phase. They're comfortable. It's kind of like replacing the sweatshirt as like the layering effect. So those... You're going to see lots of flannel blood. Last one for me, and then I'll answer your questions that are coming through right now, or we will, um, is quilted jackets. Uh, you know those quilted jackets, they have the – they're kind of almost puffer, but they're not quite puffer jackets, which puffer are still in style too. Flatter puffer. Flatter puffers with a you know a thinner jacket, but they have the box quilt on them. It looks mm -hmm. like a quilt. Um, in fact, if you have a Costco around you, there's a Ben Sherman quilted jacket there that probably will sell very well. I picked up a few. I haven't listed them yet, but – um. I know they're going to sell well. Ben Sherman's a pretty solid designer, and um, they were really nice jackets, and they had a great price point to them. Um, and Costco, just because they sell them cheap doesn't mean you can't sell them for double the price. So remember that. I've, I've done very well with Costco before. I found some Buffalo jeans at Costco. New with tags that were sold for $16. I sold them for $45, and they sold. So um, Costco has good stuff. Don't uh, rule out Costco as a place to source Let's say for clothing. have an easy return policy. Yeah. You know, if it's not selling in like 90 days and you kept that receipt, you can just go bring it back. It's You're selling it yeah. with tags. You know, so I know a lot of people don't want to put out $16 for a single item unless it's like really high end. But hey, if you know you're going to flip I got it, some Nat Nash shirts there. <laughs> yeah, one of them yeah. sold for 50 bucks. I paid 20 for it. So I mean... They're, they're good deals at Costco. You're going to pay a little more, but you're getting new with tags, so you're going to get a little more for it, too. So beautifully destroyed for the closet consultation. Yes, email us, and we will email you back with a time that we can do it. We just got a bunch that came in this week as well, so we got to get on the, on top of those, too. But um, we will get to it. It shouldn't take more than a week or two mm -hmm. to get to your closet consultation. We'll do it as soon as possible, as yes. soon as we possibly can. Um, we do a list, a mm -hmm. running list, and um, we go on order. So when they come in, when the sooner you email us and, and – uh, purchase then the sooner we'll get you on the list and you'll be able to get your consultation quick so um email us tonight if you're interested in that um if you're if you are thinking about picking up the course just 
uh, same price for inside the course or inside the emails. So um, if you're thinking about picking up the course, there is an add-on option at the end of the purchase page where you can add a closet consultation on. You'll go right on the list that way too. Yeah, and those um, people that are part of the course get like priority, like they get added to the list, you know, um, because like they're paying through the course as an add-on. But also some of the people that are new, because we've been getting a lot of courses going on, um, some of them don't even have their Poshmark closet set up yet. And so they they, they email me back and, and say, like, not ready yet. Six yeah. months, give me X amount of time, you know? So you might get booted up, booted up on a list as it is just because, you know, I don't know where everyone's at and they're, Poshmark life. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Vicky for, um, petite sizes and how to filter, you just go up to your closet and hit that little funnel button. looks like a funnel or an arrow or kind of like triangle yeah, key, something like, like that, a little funnel. Uh, and then you're going to filter out glass. for sizes. Petite sizes, I believe are 28 and below, right? Or are they mm -hmm. 30 and below? Uh, no, it says P. Oh, it, do, it does say P on them. Okay. I, I don't know the key. women's act well. So yeah, men don't have petite. Um, <laughs> we don't have, have petite. short, regular and tall, but to call a man petite, they so get then, offended. Can you filter uh, for petite I in your closet, know. or can you, you have to? That's why I'm saying sizes. You're gonna have to know what sizes fit fit, fit into petite. Um, I don't know if you can. I never. Can, tried. Uh, yeah, we haven't tried that because we don't have a lot of petite stuff no. in her closet. But um, give it. Yeah, fool around with the fool around with the um filter option and see if there's an option for that. I know but, that they're having a crud ton more filters come out. Yeah, because they're doing a lot more parties, so yes. they're gonna be a lot of filters and updated. And Vince and Vince Camuto are, are different. two different brands. Yes, yes. they are. Vince is high. Uh, they're both very high end brands. Vince Camuto Two is a secondary brand of Vince Camuto. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Camuto. Um, and Vince, Muda, it's like Vince. Period. It's completely different brands. Um, but uh, the Vince Camuto Two, I believe, is a little lower end than just Vince Cam Camuto. Yeah. Camuto. <laughs> Sounds so fun to say, and I'm probably saying it so wrong. <laughs> So I think I just finished my trends, um, my trends for the winter. Mm -hmm. That's uh, so remember Western wear, 90s styles, leather jackets, Sherling jackets, boots. Brown is a hot color right now in each shade of brown, uh, especially camel hair. If you can find camel hair jackets, you hit a home run. Mm -hmm. Checkered shirts and quilted jackets. Those are all trending right now and um, trending mm -hmm. hard. Let me say mine. Grab the sweatshirts, tartan plaid skirts, especially plaid, like schoolgirl skirts, um, tall boots, long skirts or dresses, neon accessories, twisted back sweaters, trench coat like dresses with belts, and flannel boyfriend shirt plaid things with and colored denim. And colored denim, yeah. yeah. All right, so we will hang around for a little longer, guys, and take your questions. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. We'll definitely answer those. Yeah. Um, Don't forget, our course, Poshing for Profits, is on sale, 50% off. Click the first link in the description. No coupon code needed. It'll bring you right to the sales page. You'll be able to get into the course for as little as $23.50 today. Um, comprehensive course on how to make a full-time living working part-time hours on Poshmark. So definitely check that out. Comes with a Facebook group and a ton of bonuses from Steve Rakin on how to source for men's clothing, uh, men's, women's shoes, and women and men's blazers and suits. So that'll give you a ton of uh, information on your sourcing. Click that first link in the description and go check it out. So I think SB and QD Mama have been talking about the page jeans yeah. and they're trying to describe it. Um, the stretching out of the material, it's like if you lay the denim flat, it has the puckering, it looks like it's warped. Like the elasticity is either pulled out too much and then it kind of like shrivels back and it's not laying flat as it should. It looks like a fault or like, you know, like it shouldn't, you could tell it's not supposed to be there. And it's usually around the zipper area or the thigh <laughs> area. Think about where women are curvy, the booty, yep. the thighs, you know. So when you put stretch denim in, Page makes stretch denim, um, and then they're pulling on these skinny jeans, and they got a little bit bigger of a booty, and they close those skinny jeans, and the elasticity is as far apart as it can go. Um, too much elastic can make that puckering happen, and once it's done, there's no reversing it. You know, you can't iron it out, you can't steam it out, you can't put it in the dryer and say it's good. It's you done. Know? It's Done. Final destination. <laughs> so, Mari, we were uh, reselling for about five years before we started making decent money at it. It really took some time to click. Karen was doing it as a hobby at first. She just got into Poshmark to sell her own clothing and maybe buy some new stuff for her because she lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. And then it started snowballing, and she started making steady money, but not enough to quit <laughs> her job. So we started like sourcing it. more and going out and reinvesting and reinvesting and reinvesting and reinvesting. And then eventually, we got to the point where we 
were making enough money to sustain our life and continue sourcing and save some money. Those are the three criteria we recommend to going full time. If you can save some money every month, pay your bills, and have enough money to source and keep your business going, then you're ready to go full time. If not, don't do it. Yeah, no, I made like the first year, year and a half of my. I've been on Poshmark since 2013. Nancy, I, did I didn't not see your started as a business. Nancy, I didn't see your question, so put it back again in the comments. Um, Sorry about that. And I think that sometimes people start off that way, you know. Even just the app, it's meant to sell your own clothes. Because I did, I lost a lot of weight, um, and then. I started realizing like I'm selling all my clothes and I was running out of inventory and I had to figure out fast, like how do I get more clothes to sell? I can't only sell so many or I'm going to have more <laughs> clothes to wear myself. Um, and it was before they allowed kids and men stuff. So I couldn't even sell Jay's clothes. I can only sell women's clothes back then, you know, or accessories or makeup or whatever. Um, and there was a little bit of a learning curve. Definitely and a learning I was curve, still yeah. working full time. I was still working for someone else who isn't an entrepreneur. Um, he's, he helped me. He inspired me. Um, I always asked him questions, even though our businesses were completely different. You know, he had a very like entrepreneurial yep. mind, um, still a great friend. Um, and it clicked one day <laughs> and I was like, I like doing this. <laughs> and now I'm here. Uh, Ava Castillo says, is baby a good brand? Um, Karen, mm. that would be a you question. In general, it's a good brand. It's an expensive brand. They have stores like that it's expensive they have them on like our higher end malls we have yeah. here in connecticut however i reselling personally now if anyone has had any different experience with that brand people don't see value in it anymore it's kind of it's like, just some of those brands that are really solid brands they just go out of out of trend and people don't find value in it and yeah. they're buying new stuff and that's it. it's just the nature of the like, beast it's going to happen so it, it's you gotta you gotta really know what's selling and what's selling now because not Something that was selling three months ago is not going to be selling now it used necessarily. To be a really yeah. hot brand. Like when I was a little younger, like I remember, like people were talking about it and they wanted it. And it's like you go and look at the price tags on some of those things. You're like, dude, it's like a hundred dollars for this like little mini skirt. That's like. So, <laughs> Carolyn, for as far as holiday items go, besides Christmas sweaters, I would suggest holiday ties. That's big with business guys. Um, they love dressing oh. up for their holiday ties in the. Uh, the holiday jacket. Oh, holiday jackets too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything um flashy printed with uh, those, you know, those jacket, those suits you see at Kohl's with all the uh, flamingos. flamingos and stuff on it. They make the holiday suits as those. Those are really hot too. Um, and jackets in general. You want to show them one of the blazers? These are great for New Year's. So this could be a holiday type of uh deal. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> these type of things. If you can find these, these are my wholesale jackets. These are getting listed shortly. But if you can find blazers like this, people are going to love these at New Year's. They're going to come around back for uh, prom season as well. So if you can find stuff like that, then you'll definitely have no problem making. Uh, those are going to get sold for probably at the minimum $240. And um, if not, I'm going to list them at $350 and see what happens. So um, those are good sales. Nancy, I see your question now. I have jeans that aren't selling. We're not not sure why. Check your pricing. Make sure your pricing is accurate. If you're too low, you're not going to sell them. Uh, so check, check. Definitely look into pricing. Look into your pictures. Make sure your pictures are good. And comps. And comps. It could just be the yep. style. Could be the style, right? Make sure you have a solid branded jean. Not all jeans will sell well. You got to have the right brands mm -hmm. to sell. Um, and I um, for instance, Joe's jeans. Joe's jeans. I, they're very good jeans. They're high end jeans. They are very well made jeans. Not all Joe's jeans sell quickly. You know, like the provocateurs, like for um, very curvy, it's a boot cut. I have issues even like getting a like on those jeans. However, some of their vintage reserve jeans go really quick. Their high rise skinny jeans go really quick. So it, it certain not styles, just yeah. Be the brand. Certain styles will Style. sell too. So check every check into all that and then do some target following. Target follow people who have liked your brands. Go and follow those. If, search, do a search for your branded jeans and follow the, all the people that have liked a similar style and size to yours and you should be good to go. So Julie Hink asks, I can't read the last word there, so I'm not going to try. I have about 360 list, eight listings in my Poshmark closet. Should I continue to add to this number? Yes. Yes. Simple answer. That's it. Yes, keep listing all the time. Get to 500, you're going to see a big difference. I have been contemplating duct tape, duct taping bubble wrap around me from head to toe when thrifting lately. <laughs> 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 Our lucky brand jeans, good to, good seller. For men, they're pretty solid. I'm not sure how they sell for, for women. women. Um, same thing with the cut. Lucky brand, what are they new? Like $110, $15? They're not like high, high yeah. in them, but they're like that middle high end. You can get good money for them, though. 
but they me, will sell. I'll sell them for like maybe 20 bucks. I get a men's Goodwill, a men's uh, lucky men like brand. Them. I'll get like 35, 40 bucks mm -hmm. for it. So a uh, cross posting app is called Sellhound. It's not live yet, but if you get on there, if you go look on Sellhound or sellhound.com or do a search on Google, you can sign up for their beta and they'll let you know when it goes live. Uh, Just Cavalli, is that worth buying? Not sure. I haven't heard of that. Have you? Just Cavalli? Yeah. Someone said, um, no. no. I've heard of it. I, I don't find that a lot in Connecticut at all. I barely even see it. So I don't have much to say about it. Um, that's going to happen wherever you live. You're going to find brands like all the time and see brands, even if you pick them up or not, you're going to see very common things in your area. And then other places, I'll never see that. Yeah. Ever, you know? Um, yeah. Vicky says, I don't think lucky brand and sell well either. It, I, men, I've seen his mine fly, fly out of the door. shelf. Yeah. Um, men's or maybe they like have a loyal following women are more like, eh, that's so like 2013. <laughs> <You> <laughs> What's know? up, Steve? How you doing tonight, Steve? Nice hi, to Steve. pop in and say hi to everyone. <laughs> uh, we got any more questions coming in? Let's see. Uh, Nancy, thank you so much for that kind comment. We love uh, hearing that you guys are Aww. were help, helpful in your success. We, awesome. that's, that's our main goal is to make you guys succeed as best as you can and make as much money as possible. We want you all to become full-time resellers based on our advice. So if you can do it, definitely do it and get it done quick. Steve says, hope everyone's having a great weekend. Yeah, Woo. good weekend. <laughs> good start, right? <laughs> so we'll, we'll hang out for a few more minutes, we'll see if there's any more questions. Time. We almost did an hour, even though we said there weren't. So, hey, what do you know? <laughs> Can't, we can't do half an hour. I know. I try to do a half hour. It just doesn't work out. I so. think because you're a half an hour and I'm a half an hour. <laughs> Together we're an hour. That must be it. <laughs> just a comment. That's cool. <laughs> Ah, oh, the theory dress ah. you shared a few days ago. So there you go. Yeah, sometimes I get people like uh, I since I got the mouse attached to the computer now, and I can click, click, click. I have been sharing so much more at the parties. Yep. Like a quantity more, you know, because they go quicker. Um, and I've got a lot of comments saying thank you so much. Like I follow your YouTube or I follow your Instagram, and it's like you're welcome i didn't know so vicky's asking do you think males, men's clothes can sell well mixed in with women's clothes yeah now that they now. have the men's marketplace a, a man can just select men's marketplace and see only men's stuff so um that's fine uh back in the day it wasn't like that so it was a little harder to sell men's clothing mixed in but now it's okay um how many followers do you see a spike in success so we recommend getting to about thirty-five thousand. that's a sweet spot once you hit that area you're going to start seeing semi to daily sales and um, as long as you have about 150 to 200 listings in your closet. So those are the two criteria. Hit around 35,000 followers, have about 150 to 200 listings in. And practice daily your closet. Poshmark. Yeah, listing. Yeah, you have to list and share. List at least five things a day and share your closet three to five times a day. Like once you hit those goals, you know, you have to yeah. pra practice best po Poshmark practices daily in order to see steady growth. Yep. And, you know, just study everything. Jessica Ortiz is back. What's up, Jessica? I know it's been a while. I haven't seen you in the chat since quite some time. So welcome back. Thanks for catching the live show on a Saturday. It's a rare Saturday emoji, live show emoji, for us. Emoji. We have been to a Posh Party Live, and it was so much fun. Um, we were lucky enough to have Manish at that Posh Party Live with us, the CEO of Poshmark. So I got to New talk York. to him. He showed me the men's marketplace right away as it was rolled at, before it had even been rolled out. So I knew about it right away because I was at that event. So if you guys have a chance to go to a Posh Party Live, Jump all over that. You can network. You can meet a ton of great people. And um, who knows who you'll run into there. You might even uh, rub elbows with the CEO of Poshmark and maybe he'll give you a job. Who knows? I mean, it's good to try to find it. Plus, you find people local. You know, we it was yeah. New York City, local to Connecticut. Connecticut's very small. But some of you guys live in, like, very, like, rural states and, like, bigger states. So if they have a Posh Party Live that's obtainable to you to get to, I'm not saying you take an air, airplane to a Posh Party Live, but, you know, and it's obtainable. You could start meeting people that, hey, you live in, like, three towns over from me. Start thinking about Posh and Sips or, like, thrifting get-togethers. Like, we, me, Steve, and a bunch of people get Connecticut thrifting meetups. So you get to meet people that are local. It's good. <laughs> so, uh, Steve's got a question. How long does it take you to list a men's dress shirt on Poshmark? I can probably get it done in under 10 minutes right now. Actually, no, I list, no, no I list five items in probably like 20 to 25 minutes. So, um, a men's dress shirt is a five minute listing actually. So that's pretty much it. I type out all the descriptions at once. I airdrop them to my phone and then I 
go crazy on Poshmark. Now, There's, if he had done, if you do it all on a computer, which he doesn't, it would go a little quicker. But his photos are on his phone, so my either way, my phone, so yeah. has to go on. It's either the description going to the phone or the photos to the computer. But if everything was all on the computer, he could just type right there, and it would go quicker. Me as well. He prefers to do it on the phone. You know, because all his photos are on his phone. So. Yes, we are both full-time resellers, Mary. Um, when you have over 500 listings, do you find that people are, are less likely to look through your whole closet? Yeah, that's yes. going to happen. But they also... So make sure you keep the good the stuff at the on. top. Make sure you keep the good stuff at the top. Um, that's what I do. I always... Tantalizing I, stuff. Every time I add five new listings to my closet, I'll go and share about the eight or ten really nice things that I want to keep at the top of my closet. And I'll share them right back to my followers so they stay there. Because um, you can't pin anything. You know, you can't pin a couple things to the top of your closet. Yeah. You want people, you know, that go into your closet if they're not running their size filter, because you know how the site, your si my size is always filtered when they enter your closet. If they're not doing that, you want them to stay around. So you don't want like ugly or like five. Keep the good stuff at the top. top. Yeah. Keep the good stuff at yeah. the top and the bad good stuff pictures. at the bottom. So you're saying I can put men's stuff in my women's closet. Yes, you yeah. can. Um, Now, I, I still think two closets is best. But um, if you want to put men's stuff in your closet right now, you should be fine. No problem. Jessica, I hope you're feeling I hope you're doing OK. And uh, it sucks to go to the hospital. Sorry to hear that. I hope everything's OK with you. How much for a closet consultation? Forty seven dollars. Yes. Any idea when the draft option starts? Not sure. Um, within the, uh, before months. before the end of the year, I think. My closet is strictly sneakers and really doing well. I would like to branch out into other areas, but don't want to disturb success in shoes. Any advice? You know, I just did a closet consultation that was like majority of all shoes. And it's like, if that's your thing, shoes are so easy to photograph. You know, I get it. Hi, 100K. I completely get it. Um, you know, you might consider opening up a second closet, but with all the marketplaces and the filters that people run, it might not deter people from looking for the yeah. items of clothing in your closet as it Filters is. Filters are going to be a big yes. key, and they're going to be even bigger uh, moving forward. So so um, you can add – I just add whatever you want to your closet. Right? People are going to filter for exactly what they're looking for, so you don't have to keep it cohesively shoes. You can have a ton of shoes, and then below the shoes have a ton of clothing, and you'll get filtered out for the, what people want to buy. Yeah. And, you know, shoo, 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 so um, yes. Posh is allowing you to save listings. That at feature is coming shortly with the drafts feature, so it's coming. Uh, we got time for one more question, and then we're going to sign off. So could you show a video of you taking a picture, typing the description, airdropping, listing, et cetera, for each of you as you are listing for each of your closets? That's an interesting video. I guess we I've could do that. I've done a listing video, like how I list. Um, I've done a, I've done a, I have a whole series in the YouTube channel. It's like photography for beginners. I go over flat lays. It's in one video. Like mannequins is a separate video. You know, I, I go over different types of um, photography. But, um, and then the listing one's separate. So it's just two videos. You know, if you're into flat lays, watch flat lay video and then watch the listing video. You know, you'll see exactly what goes on. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, but we might do that in the future with the little screen sharing magic and all that good stuff. So guys, uh, this is going to do it for us tonight. Don't forget our course, Poshing for Profits, is 50% off. Uh, click the first link in the description. It'll take you right to the sales page. It is a comprehensive guide on how to make a full-time living working part-time hours on Poshmark. You get a free Facebook uh, group, access to a free Facebook group that we're in all the time. It's for members of the course only, so you're going to be able to ask us questions and comments. You also get 101 Killer Men's Clothing Brand uh, Guide, 101 Killer Women's Shoes Guide, and Blazing Profit System. Those are all from Steve Rakin and... And they are going to teach you how to source for men's clothing, suits, and blazers, and women's shoes like a pro. I have read them all, and I have found learned so much from that. So, um, again, click on that link in the description and check that course out. You can get in for as little as twenty-three fifty tonight. Eighty-seven viewers, right now, right, right, right now. Click the thumbs up. And don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to us if you haven't done yes. so already. And we will see you guys probably on Monday. We're going to be back live again. So come check us out on Monday. Same bat channel, same bat time. Have a Bye great guys. night, guys.